Hi everybody, Phil here. One of the most important things students can learn in music lessons is how to read standard notation. Nowadays, with all lessons moving online, there may be new challenges for teachers teaching music to students. Fortunately, there's an app that's really handy. I've used it for years. It's called Tenuto. It's spelled T-E-N-U-T-O. It's for iOS, that's for iPhone and iPad. It's really handy, it's easy to use, and I'm here to help you set it up. This tutorial will be for piano C position, that's C, D, E, F, G in the right hand treble clef, and C, D, E, F, G for the left hand bass clef. Okay, so here's how you set up Tenuto for reading in C position. This is a pretty old iPad, but it still works. Here, I'm gonna push on the app. And the very first thing you see here is note identification. That's what you use to practice your reading. I'm gonna open that up. Now, let me just uh, reset the score here because it's on challenge mode, which is one of the newer features. I'm gonna reset this score. And right here in the top at the settings, you see that we have clefs. What you wanna choose in the clefs is both treble clef and the bass clef. You can choose grand staff, but I prefer to alternate between treble and bass clef. Now, in the range of treble clef, I'm actually going to adjust this. You can move this around and the lowest note is gonna be C. The top note here, I'm gonna move it down to G. This is for the basic C position in the right hand. Go back out, go to the bass clef range. I'm gonna move this B up to a C and this A down to G. Now it's set for the left hand, C, D, E, F, G. The other thing you wanna keep in mind, key signatures I'm gonna to stick to just this one. This has a bunch of flats and sharps, which is a great feature for reading keys later on, but for beginners, we wanna to stick to that. Note names, helpers, off. Let's turn off accidentals. That would have sharps and flats. We're not gonna use those. We're gonna have everything just like this. After audio, I put challenge mode on for five minutes. That's a feature you can do. Um, I set a five minute limit, and that's just how I measure my students' progress. So we have challenge mode, next question, note filters off. The features should look just like this. Now I'm going to start a challenge. Here, well, that's a D. The only thing that kind of bugs me is that they still have the sharps and flats over it. That's a G. And you see, this is a great way to challenge your students, your kids, and to have them use the iPad for something other than Angry Birds, or I don't know what they're using these days. What, TikTok? Just showing my age here. So yeah, it just goes between bass clef and treble clef, and it scores you, you know. So that's a great feature. Here's the other one you're gonna wanna use. This probably even earlier, keyboard note identification. That's a really good one. Going to start my challenge mode here. Yeah, this is this is just finding where the white keys are. This is very important so that we can identify notes. D. Tenuto is the best music theory app I've seen for iPad, for iOS. I don't know what the equivalent would be for Android, but um, since most people I work with have an iPhone or an iOS device of some sort, this is great. So the two apps, well, the two features in this app you're gonna use are keyboard note identification and the first one, note identification for reading, okay? It's great. It's, it's a really good alternative to flashcards and other ways of reading. Oh, they gave me two Ds. So there you go. So there you have it. It's pretty easy to use and it's a lot of fun. If you can score 100% accuracy in five minutes, that means you really know how to read your notes, and that's really handy. The better a note reader you are, the easier everything is. Thanks a lot, and be safe.